Hi, welcome back to the channel guys. So after the iOS 17 updates, there are a couple of complaints about the assistive touch won't turn on, lagging, not working, or it's not moving on your iPhone home screen. Then here are the three advanced troubleshooting guys that you all have to do right now to solve your problem. To solve that problem, first you have to just open up your settings, then you need to scroll down and open up your accessibility because that's where you'll find the touch. Select that and you actually have to tap the assistive touch. First, you have to disable this option for about 10 to 20 seconds. If it doesn't disable from here, I would say simply go ahead and just restart your iPhone by pressing the power button and the volume up button. However, if it gets disabled just like that, then all you have to do is just disable it and enable it back again. Hopefully, this time around, it will start to work. Now, if you found, well, it's not working even after when you enable the assistive touch there, then follow the next process. The next process would be just go ahead and open up your settings on your iPhone there, scroll down and tap on general, tap software update and go ahead and check for the new software update whether it's on your iPhone or not. So if you see the new software available, go ahead and update it. Most likely it will solve the problem. However, though, if it doesn't, go back and just open up the same settings again. Just open up your accessibility there. Uh, you got to tap on touch and here, open up the assistive touch here. If you already, you know, customize your um, assistive touch there, then I will say just go ahead and tap reset and just simply get out of here and check your issues. Now, most likely it will start to work when you're going to just reset that, you know, uh, assistive touch on your iPhone. But if it doesn't work even after that, just open up your settings on all I want you guys to do. Just uh, come back to your uh, general and you want to scroll down, tap transfer and reset, tap reset and simply select reset home screen layout. Since it stays all, all on your home screen all the time, if you do that, it will help you to solve your problem. If it doesn't work, then you can lastly select reset all settings to solve your problem. So these are the quick guide that you guys can follow right now to solve your problem. If you still have any questions regarding any problems on your iPhone, please tell me in the comment section. See you around.